Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. It's nice to see you and it's nice to be here. And I want to start the shave by saying thank you to everyone who commented on my last video, the uh, Gillette Black Beauty, my birthday shave last, oh, when was it, last Saturday? Uh, it's Friday today, so another weekend coming up. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for all the comments and uh, happy birthdays, I really appreciate it. Um, okay, today's shave, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I've waited for this for a while. I was sent some soaps uh, by a company in Norway called Fit Jar, and um, well, they're actually creams. They sent me some samples, and uh, that was back in July. End of July they sent me them, but I've just never had the time to review them because I'd done uh, Sandalwood September, and I was trying out other soaps and stuff, so I'm finally getting around to reviewing them at last, and I'm looking forward to it after just having a quick look through their website. Uh, yeah, so they sent me four little sample pots, uh, in this lovely little packaged box, very nice. Um, so there they are. There, yeah, four little pots. Um, rather than describing all the sites, I'll put the link to the website, and you can go and have a look at them. Uh, but there's this particular one I want to use today. Is this uh, Ice Rose shaving cream, uh, and this is a test batch. This is their new. Uh, well, they're testing it out for their new autumn and winter. 2018 scent and uh, these soaps came with a, a lovely handwritten note from a, a lady called Monica uh, as you can see there yeah uh, and it, the, the scent uh, says uh, with notes of rose and menthol like finding wild roses brushed with the icy cool breeze of the glacier along a hidden trail so obviously rose and menthol, so I want to try that out today. Yeah, it's, these little sample pots are great for trying out different soaps. If you don't want to buy the whole tub and find you don't like it, you've only kind of got this, but it's a soft cream, very, very soft, as you can see there. Uh, yeah, so I'll be using that today. I've read some reviews um, online and these creams, excuse me, these creams get very, very good write-ups. So I'm looking forward to using them. Uh, yeah, I've not um, I've not used a cream in a long time, but have a look at the website. It's very very clean uh, and very professionally looking. Professionally looking, it's very professional looking because they are professional. But it's nice and clean, easy to navigate around, nicely laid out. Um, I like that on the website. So yeah, I'll put a link. You can go and take a look. Uh, the brush I'm using today, I'm just squeezing some of the water out of it. Is the Yaki. 24 millimeter high mountain white badger. This is a fantastic, fantastic brush. The knot on this, just look at the bloom on that. Yeah, it's been soaking in the Kevy Shaves bowl, not the Purasso Super Soaker. I think it's too big for that. So I'm going to be bowl lathering the cream in that bowl. Uh, the razor I'm going to be using is the Parker 24C. Uh, quite a long handle, beautiful, beautiful knurling on this. Um, double open comb. Really, really nice razor. Yeah, just let me give that a little wipe. Some water been splashing on it, so you guys can take a look at it. It looks aggressive, but it's not as aggressive as some open combs. But uh, just a great, great razor. As I say, great knurling. Parker makes some great razors. I think they're very underrated. Beautiful weight in it. It's quite a long handle, as you can see. Yeah, probably about I don't know. Three and a half, maybe four inches even. But very nice. Yeah, there's the there's the combs there. Okay, the blade I'm going to be putting in that is a, a feather blade, brand new feather blade. There you are, hold it up that way. Now a lot of people say that these are sharp. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing, they are very sharp. But some people, um, I've never done this before, so I'm going to try it. Some people say you can palm strop it. My goodness, it's hot in here. Uh, you can palm strop, we've got the heating on because it's uh, quite cold outside. <laughs> um, yeah, you can palm strop this blade just to take the edge, the sharpness and the harshness off that. So what you do is, uh, being very careful, you take the blade and this part of your hand here, the kind of heel of your hand, you just drag the blade across it back and forward, so I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate that to you now. Just like that. 
and then turn it around. Is it picking it up on camera? Like that. And that's a pan stropped. So I'll put it in the razor now. Three piece razor. Yeah, very nice. So that supposedly just takes the edge off the, or the harshness, harshness. It's just a harshness off the blade. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll just show you. There's the blade in there now. Brand new feather. Um, yeah, it supposedly just takes the, any harshness off the blade, just kind of dulls it a little bit so it's not as sharp, but I've never done it before, so we'll give it a go. Um, all nicely lined up in the 24C, look at that, beautiful. Really nice. Okay, uh, let's squeeze this brush out. Give it a shake, tip the water out there. And we'll get this uh, cream. Now I'm not sure how much to add, because I've never used these creams before, so I'm going to err on the side of caution and use that much. That's quite a lot at that tub, but I don't want to have to add more. Yeah, it's a nice rose scent. Lovely, lovely floral, natural smelling. And there's a little bit of cream there, I'll just... Put it on my face as a kind of pre-shave. So, <laughs> there's the cream in the bowl there. Yeah, that little bit looks quite a lot, doesn't it? But we shall see how we get on lathering up with the Yaki High Mountain White Badger Knot. So I'll just get some water in that. Okay, here we go. Creams are uh, usually easy to lather up. Especially with this big knot, it should be no problem at all. Just gonna add some water in there. Yeah. Yeah, so how have your shaves been going? My goodness, it's roasting in here. <laughs> It's hard work, shaving, you know. <laughs> Just gonna add a little bit more water. A few drops at a time. Hiya, how have your shaves been going? I hope they've been going well. I hope your weeks went well. Friday here again, almost the weekend. Gonna add a touch more water to this. Not too much because I don't know how much water this can take, so as I say, first time using it, so I don't want to get the lather too uh, thin and airy and stuff. I want to have a, a nice thick creamy lather, then I can add water to it on the face. As you can see, like this is uh, whipping up good. Very nice, it's all uh, spilling out the bowl with this brush. This uh, Yaki brush, I've said it before, um, maybe not on camera, but I think I've mentioned it in Facebook posts and stuff like that. I think this actually performs better than my Simpsons Chubby 2. <laughs> it's easier to use for, for some reason. Um, maybe because there's not as much hairs and stuff in it, but I don't know. I'm just adding a little bit more water to that cream. Okay, that's good for me. I still have some on my face, so... Yeah, look at that, it's absolutely beautiful, nice, rich, thick, creamy lather. Okay, just wet the face a little bit. Yeah, look, and you can see that cream that's on there already. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look at the splay on this brush. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a nice uh, natural rose scent, like a wild rose. Really nice. And there is some menthol in there too, which I can feel on my skin. Nice thick lather, just dipping the tips of the brush here. Yeah, this brush is super soft. I'm actually going to put some of that lather back in the bowl because it's too much here. Yeah, their scents uh, are all uh, very nice and clean sounding. You know, there's nothing to kind of in your face heavy scent. seat with a feather blade. I hear from the brush there. Yeah, I think um, Parker razors are very underrated for what they are. They're not that expensive, but they they have some really nice designs. And uh, yeah, they just work. You know, some people will say they won't last, but if you look after one, they will. Make sure you uh, make sure you clean it out. Keep it well looked after. It. it should last you for years. I don't think there's anyone um, in the states or Canada or Australia stock this. Uh, these creams and soaps. I had a quick look online. You can buy direct from them from Norway, uh, and I think Executive Shaving in Glasgow here in Scotland stock them. So, um, yeah, if you're looking, I know I know Executive Shaving definitely help them. Going to talk to. Uh, Brian at Executive Shaving, very nice chap. He's originally from this city I'm from, Dundee. A good old Dundee boy. <laughs> I was at a, a party at New Year's Eve and I met him. I met him in the uh, at the party. He was there at the same party. Good stuff. Okay, let me rinse this off. Nice slickness from that cream. And I will come back for pass number two. Rinsed off. Yeah, I just want to show you this bowl. Look at that. It's all, um, look at this lather. I think I may have taken too much, but <laughs> that's okay. It won't go to waste, as you know. Yeah, this brush is uh, super, super soft. You think you've got a soft brush, and then you've got this. Uh, for a badger brush, I mean. Badger brushes are kind of going out of fashion a little bit, with all the 
really nice synthetics. Which are uh, easier to look after and care for and stuff like that. You just uh, rinse them out and let them dry and they're drying an hour or two but badgers take a bit more care. This is an ice cream. Yeah, very nice. You can feel the, uh, it feels very luxurious, especially with this brush. Okay. Let's get this uh, cleaned up a little bit. We're going to the second pass. The 24C Parker razor with the feather blade that was palm stropped. Yeah, it doesn't feel as harsh. I don't think. It feels, uh, you know, usually on the first, second pass, a feather blade would feel quite, not harsh, just you could feel the sharpness of it. But with palms dropping it, like I did there. Yeah, please be careful if you're, if you're trying that palm dropping. Uh, I don't want any comments from people saying, Kevy, I've sliced my hand open. <laughs> That's the disclaimer in. Yeah, you try palm stropping at your own risk. I won't be held responsible if you slice your fingers off. Terms and conditions apply. I can't believe how hot it is in here. I think Mrs. Kevy must have turned the thermostat up. <laughs> yeah, so a Norwegian soap maker, um, Fitjar, and I think it's uh, I think Fitjar Islands are uh, a little group of islands in Norway. And this is where they make their soaps. So I think it's very uh, rustic and stuff where they are. Lots of uh, forests and stuff like that. What am I doing? I'm supposed to be going across. <laughs> this is uh, this cream field, it's very protective. Yeah, I had a look at their website, a bit chart. And uh, I couldn't actually see this ISO Rose. Um, I couldn't actually see this one on there, but I know that, that, that this, they were releasing it for autumn and winter, so perhaps it's not, it's not been released yet. I think they were just uh, putting it out to some people to test it out to See what they thought of the scent. I can feel the menthol now, actually. Uh, yeah, my skin feels very cool. That kind of just crept up on me there. Very nice. Okay, second pass done. Let's have a feel for the slickness. Yeah, it's very good. Very, very good. Okay, let me rinse back for pass number three. Back for the third pass. Yeah. Mountains of cream left here. Look at that. Just paint it on. Yeah, you can really uh, feel the menthol now. It's not a... It's not a, like a... A yeti snot menthol, like really, really freezing, freezing cold, but it's just nice and uh, cooling. You can feel it. And this rose scent is very nice. If you like floral scents, I don't mind. Uh, I really like floral scents as well.
Yeah, great cream. Very natural feeling and smelling. This brush is awesome. Yeah, Yake and uh, DS Cosmetic out of China now are putting out some amazing brushes. Really nice. Okay. I could have kept going there and just <laughs> kept lathering on my face. Get some heat into this plate again. And uh, we'll go third pass against the growth of the hair. Excellent protection. Um. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, thank you for the birthday wishes. Uh, had a great weekend last weekend. We went out for a meal on Saturday night. We went out for a lovely steak. I had a steak. Uh, and then Sunday we went out for another meal with uh, some of Mrs. Kevy's family and it was just great having food, good people, good chat I didn't get any shaving related gifts for birthday. I got some um, I got some gift vouchers from the uh, the gentleman's groom room here in Dundee, so um, I'll be able to go in and spend those um, pretty soon. Well, just whenever I can get down there. It has great, great knurling on the handle. Very, very grippy. Oh, look, one little. That's that same place all the time, isn't it? That little spot. <laughs> it's weird. Okay. It's not a cut, it's just a little a creeper, as they call them. Okay, let's uh, have a little feel about it and see if there's any pickups needing done. Yeah, I can really feel the... Uh, and I splash of cold water on my face there. I can feel the cooling from the menthol. Yeah, usual spots. Okay. I 
It's not silent. Which means there's nothing there. This, um, this cream almost feels as slick as a soap. Uh, there's no parabens or anything in these creams. They're all, with testing on animals, they're all, um, I think most of them are uh, vegan creams. But again, I'm sure it will tell you on the website, there's all the ingredients and stuff on there. All the info that you will need. Tons of slickness there. Really good. What a good shave. One little bit there. How do I feel it just there? Is it? Okay. Um, <coughs> I think there's enough for um, about 16 face washes here. Okay, I'll just rub this in. Wow, that feels great. Yeah, I'll just let this sit on my face, let the menthol and all the good ingredients do its work, that beautiful rose scent, and then I'll rinse it off with cold water and I'll see you for the post shave. Nice shave. Skin feels really soft. Very good. Okay, let's go into the post. There's Lavender Witch Hazel. Not much left of this. I've got another bottle upstairs, thankfully. It's good stuff. The uh, floral scent going. Lavender, very good. Nice. Okay, the uh, aftershave I'm going to use is a, a rose scented aftershave with menthol, just like the soap, um, and it's Mersol plastic. Uh, this is very, very good for the skin. My skin is getting a complete treat today. <laughs> um, yeah, this is good for the skin, very good properties. Uh, Spanish company, Mersol, yeah, it smells of uh, rose, and it has a bit of menthol in it as well. Very nice. Good splash of that. A little bit of a burn. Oh, what a beautiful scent. I no longer smell like an old thistle. I smell like a lovely fresh rose. Some people might not want that, but I don't mind, I like floral scents. Rose was my mum's favourite flower. So uh, that's why it's, it has kind of sentimental value to me. Value? Sentimental. It's sentimental to me. So that was the aftershave. Mersol plastic. Any little creepers came out? Yeah, a little spot there. But uh, it's a great shave, very good. Uh, and to put the moisture back in, keeping it natural again, Johnson's Baby Soothing Naturals Intense Moisture Cream. Uh, this is good stuff. I need to get some more of this as well because I have only a tiny little bit left in there. This is really good stuff, yeah. I really like this. You only need a tiny little bit. Just dotted about. Yeah, a little goes a long way. I think it's made for baby's bums. And that's what my face was like, baby bum smooth. Or baby butt smooth, as you guys in the States say. We say bum over here. <laughs> baby bum. Baby bum smooth. BBS is still BBS. Amazing. Oh, what a shave. 
I can feel the, the menthol from the aftershave now uh, kicking in. My skin feels cooled. Cooled. Okay, let's uh, go over what we've used again today. I'm just going to put the lid just on this cream. I'll show you that first. Uh, the cream was Fit Jar Island's Iso Rose Shaving Cream uh, in this little sample pot. Very, very good. Easy, to, very, very easy to lather. I think I maybe added a bit much too water, a bit much, bit much water, but um, it still worked. It was still slick, protection, cushion glide, everything was there. Yeah, very good. Uh, as I say, I'll put a link to their website, to Fit Jar. Uh, his website and have a look at them. Um, all natural ingredients, stuff like that. So, if that matters to you, go and take a look. Uh, we bowl lathered that soap uh, cream, sorry, in the Kevy Shaves bowl. There it is. There. Uh, the razor for today's shave was the wonderful Parker Twenty Four C, uh, the double open comb. Really nice. Someone asked me about a mild double open comb the other day in the comments. Can't remember who it was, but uh, I think I recommended getting this. Yeah, great razor. Very good, great knurling, easy to use, it's just easy to find the angle, I just, I love it. Uh, inside that was a brand new feather blade, palm dropped. Yeah, it did take the edge off it, I feel. It didn't feel quite as uh, kind of rough. Sometimes when you put a feather in you, in the first kind of couple of strokes, you're like, wow, I can really feel how sharp that is, but I, I maybe kind of just dulled it a little bit. Uh, yeah, made the, the shave very comfortable. Okay, uh, we had a little face wash with the remainder of lather, which there was tons. <laughs> um, then the post shave was Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. Oh, let me show you the brush. How could I forget about that? The brush was the Yaki 24mm High Mountain White Badger. Look at the bloom on that. Look how much hair is in there. Yeah, this is a great brush. Absolutely fantastic. As I say, I, I think it, for me, it outperforms my Simpson Chubby 2. It's just easier to, to use. But um, I'm probably about six times cheaper. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, great brush. Uh, post shave, there's lavender. The aftershave was Mersol plastic. And we finished it off with Johnson's Baby Naturals Cream, Intense Moisture Cream. And there we have it, ladies and gents. Yeah, there's a couple of little creeper beepers, but pff, it's a good shave. Skin feels amazing, really good. Really conditioned and soft. Yeah, very nice. I'm happy. Uh, yeah, as I say, all the links for everything I've used, if I can find something online, I'll put it in the description. Uh, have yourselves a fantastic Friday. Uh, have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Enjoy it and spend it with loved ones and relax. Have a good time, just forget about everything else and just relax. Uh, and I'll see you in the next shave.